This is how the virus first reached sub-Saharan Africa, the first confirmed case here in Lagos. Authorities are checking people as they arrive, but it can be a while before an infection makes someone feel ill enough to seek help. So the gentleman who came here apparently uh, may have gotten infected at a point, but walked through the scene, the uh, screening, uh, with no symptoms. And by the time he got to his house, I think a day or uh, two after, he started to feel unwell. And uh, wisely enough, he went to a hospital. Nigeria's four functioning international airports are the focus now for intensified checks. But the virus has landed and people are concerned. If a country like China cannot totally contain and control this uh, um, coronavirus thing, as sophisticated as they are, I'm very scared about Nigeria. I'm very, very scared. And I just hope that the government will act very, very fast and prompt about this and make sure that the citizens are safe. I'm really, really scared that um, we had to allow this to get to us because we had ample time to prevent it. You know, but fortunately, I'm scared. I just hope, let me sound religious here, pray that um, it doesn't get out of hand. Spreading the word will take a joint effort, the health minister said. Yes, we do believe that religious leaders, traditional leaders, community gatekeepers, they are all listening to what we are saying. Because as a leader, definitely you don't want your people to get sick. And if you hear of this kind of advisory, I'm sure they all call their congregation and advise them to follow the guidelines that are being given. For now, officials are trying to trace all those who were on the infected man's flight.